Okay, what we're going to be doing is using 16 gigabytes of RAM in Photoshop CS4. So what I'm going to do is show you a photo merge of a panorama. I'm just going to go ahead and open up Bridge here. And uh, I'm selecting the panorama to photo merge. It's a panorama made of 12 files that are approximately 11 megabytes in, in size each, so the total image should be about 120 megabytes um, compressed, and when you're working with layers, it's approximately 450 megabytes. So as this process is in Photoshop, you can see the RAM start to stack up. We're already at about 2.5 gigs, it just dropped down there. And as soon as it finishes, we'll open an additional two images and then compare the three panoramas to decide which one we'd like to stick with. decided to uh, go ahead and use the Glacier Point panorama. So what I'm going to do now is open up the uh, hi highlight exposure image so that we can then open the shadow exposure image and blend all three together in Photoshop. And then now as this panorama processes, uh, you're going to again watch the RAM stack up. We'll be at 8 gigs in no time. And we'll push past that as soon as we start merging the HDR. So there is the highlights of the Glacier Point panorama. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back in the bridge and open up the shadow exposure for the HDR image. Again, it's another 12 photos, same exact panorama, 11 megabytes each, and the total file size is approximately 110, 120 megabytes. Right now we're at about 6 gigs of RAM. And as soon as this is finished processing, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and resize the three panoramas we're going to use, the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows, and merge them together as an HDR image using 16 gigabytes of RAM. What we have here is uh, we're right at about six and a half gigs and we're looking at the shadow exposure of the panorama. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sort these so we can see them in order. You have the mid-tones photo, you have the highlights photo and the shadows image. And so we will resize these and merge them into a single HDR. Um, but really quickly I wanted to demonstrate how Photoshop is stitching these images together. What you see here are the 12 layers, and I'm going to make the layers invisible one at a time here, and then stack them back up just to see how, it's kind of interesting how they stack together. It's, they, they pick lots of one photo and very little of another. And that is the shadow panorama right there. Okay, and uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and resize these images pick the common dimension for all three of the images and uh, once that's done we'll begin the HDR. Now that we have all the photos saved, um, we're going to go ahead and open all three up and merge them as an HDR. Okay, as you can see we're using 15 gigabytes now in Photoshop CS4. Uh, we're looking at the highlights of the Glacier Point panorama. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the midtones. This again is the highlight frame. This is the shadow frame. And this is the merged HDR image. 
we opened up the June Lake Loop, the Tenaya Lake Loop, and opened up the shadows as well as the highlights of Tenaya Lake. And we got to 15 gigs. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out Photoshop so that we can drop back down to the operating system requirements of about one or one and a half gigabytes. We used a capture program and you can see that it's still running and yet it's not really taxing system resources here. You can see the one gigabytes we're using, you can see where it dropped from 15 gigabytes all the way back down to one. We're using 16 gigabyte kit of HyperX 1600 megahertz memory. Thank you for your time.